people it's your girl T I'm sorry I've been gone for so long but I'm back <clears throat> and um, although I'm still dealing with a little bit of a cold I wanted to come on and get my next series started with you guys um, we're gonna be working in Spruik Jespus I can't say that Spruik Jespus by Thomas Lovetomic and I did uh, a little poll to see what pencils um, you all would like to see me work in or work with and um, in this book and it looks like we it looks like Derwent Artist one okay so I'm gonna be using the Derwent Artist pencils and I've picked this page here which is a swan okay and you guys I'm gonna be um, drinking some tea um, you know, because my, I want to, I want to chat with you guys because I want to tell you what's been going on. Because if you've not noticed, I've only been really doing um, flip throughs lately. And I just want to talk with you guys and uh, about what's going on. Also, um, in my face-to-face -face video, I asked um, you all if you had any questions to please ask those in the comments section. Um, and that I would answer those questions. So I'm going to also use this video to answer those questions I received from a few of you guys. So, but anyways, I'm going to be drinking some tea. So I know a lot of people don't like hearing slurping. I'm not going to slurp, but, <laughs> but the tea is hot. But I don't know if you guys have ever tried this tea. It's the Twinings Herbal Tea Orange and C Cinnamon Spice. And it's the Disney Beauty and the Beast. I guess they created this flavor for Beauty and the Beast. Um, but um, I love anything cinnamon I love cinnamon, like crazy about cinnamon. So I saw this and was like, ooh, got to try it. And it is very good. It's very fragrant. So I'll be drinking that while I'm talking with you guys today. So please excuse me if I so happen to slurp by accident. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and get my um, thing in here. I'm going to be up kind of close today using a different tripod because I want you guys to see what I'm doing. Okay, so let's see. So what I want to say, what I want to um, do is talk a little bit about how I'm going to tackle this page. Um, this page has a lot going on here in, in, in the reeds or these um, leaves or whatever you want to call them, swamp fronds. So I was going to go ahead and try to, to do the background, but it's really hard to tell with some of these leaves coming up if that's the background or a leaf, okay? So what I've decided to do is to go ahead and color because it's, to me, it's the most, um, it's the busiest part of this page, is to go ahead and color these uh, palm frond, I mean, swamp, you know, leaves or whatever you want to call these. I'm going to color those in, okay? And then I'm going to do everything else because to, for me, when I look at this page, there's not very much background. It's just a lot of this here, and then you have the swan. So I kind of want to start working on that and get those done so that I can really see what I'm doing, what's going on, okay? So for this um, section, or for this video, I'm only going to be using four colors. Um, again, I'm using the um, Derwent Artist pencils, okay? So the lightest color I'll be using is May Green 4800. Uh, and then I have Cedar Green 5000. I have bot Bottle Green 40, where is that? They're so hard to see sometimes. 4300. And then I have a Mineral Green 4500. Now these three greens here look the same if you're just looking at them, but they're really not. <laughs> So, um, and I'm not going to do them all the same. I'm going to have some light, some, you know, medium, some dark, and, um, you know, shading with all the different pencils, okay? So, um, as usual, the pencils that I use will flash up uh, on the screen for you, uh, the colors, so that if you wanted to try coloring this page with me, you can, okay? So, I think, let me take a sip really quick because I'm feeling already a little, a little hoarse. I and mean, I'll just get started, okay? Okay, so. 
The first color I'm going to start with is, of course, my lightest green, only because I really like it. And so I'm going to work on this side here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. And again, I'm going to be randomly choosing where I place this green because not all of them are going to have this green on it. Let me zoom in just a little more. Adjust my page here. Okay. All right. And you're going to probably be hearing some background noise, me shifting in my seat just to make sure I'm still in frame because I do not like when I get out of frame. You guys can't see what's going on. Okay. All right. So I hope everyone, everyone is doing well. Um, like I stated, I've, if you've noticed, I've only done um, flip through videos. I kind of was in a, a little bit of a funk, um, not a coloring funk, but just a little bit of a, of a funk. And I, I kind of felt like I was coming down with a cold or something. And you know, my husband was sick, um, you know, over the weekend and during the week. And I was like, I hope I'm not getting um, what he has. But of course, hacking and coughing, he, you know, ended up passing it on to me. Luckily, Christian didn't get it, so <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, so really the last couple weeks, been dealing with um, Christian having um, pink eye, and then um, then I got sick early to mid part of last week, and just didn't really, you know, feel like talking and and you know doing those kind of, you know, color and chat videos. I guess I could have done a, just a regular, you know, speed through or something like that, but I kind of like to chat with you guys because <clears throat> that's kind of how you guys get to know us color tubers is when we kind of, when we chat and talk about different things. So, but yeah, so I took a break and just try to get some rest and get better. I'm still fighting whatever this is left. <laughs> um, but, you know, along with being sick, um, found out that my, um, a close friend of my husband, well, he was like his big brother, passed away on last Sunday. Um, and uh, that really was tough. Um, we we had to go to the funeral, which was yesterday, and we spent time with the family over the weekend. So we were um, traveling, and then um, you know, in the midst of all of that, my best friend <clears throat> um, is in the hospital, and so I went to go see her. Um, and that I actually got to see her before I got sick, and it's like the day after I went to see her, I got sick, and I was like, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so she's you know she's still there, and so I try to try to contact her as much as I can because you know nobody wants to be sitting up there, you know, as long as you might have to sit up there and. Without anyone to talk to so I video chat with her and stuff like that so you know doing that and I don't know it's just you know just didn't really feel like <laughs> didn't really feel like it and so I just took a little break I was able to uh, finish reading a book um, by Walter Mosley I don't know if, if any of you have read any of his books they're like mysteries and mysteries murder mysteries and pretty good books he writes really good and so um I was able to do that read a book finish a book actually which shocked me because I didn't think I was going to be able to finish the book so as you guys can see I'm having an issue here I'm like what is this so <laughs> I'm just um, if you guys know me when I color if I can't figure out what it is it's going to be what I say it is <laughs> So it's going to be one of these leafings. So, um, 
yeah, some of these lines don't just match up too perfectly. So we're going to go with the flow. All right. So, but yeah, so I wasn't really into just, you know, I wasn't really into doing anything with talking on the, you know, YouTube. So I do apologize if you guys were looking forward to that last week. I just, just couldn't. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, but yeah, I, I'm glad I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy to be back on doing it today. I kind of feel bad because I feel like I'm, ne I'm neglecting you guys, but you know, life happens and we can't control sometimes what life throws at us and we just have to make the best of, you know, what's going on at the time. So, or try to cope with it. So, um, so yeah, that's that's what's going on. Um, I'm trying to um, get some other video ideas out for for the new the newbies who may be watching the channel who don't have these pencils. Um, after this series, I will be working on. I'll be doing one with. I think I said I was gonna do prank. I think prank prank color pencils. Um, so you guys stay tuned for that, for the new people. Um, yeah, so, but right now I'm using the May Green 4800 and I'm just adding this color on all the leaves that I think I want to have this color. And then I'm going to go back and add some, um, shading to, to these. So see? Here, I gotta figure out where this comes out. I'm gonna assume it's here. So, just come on up here with this. Um, sometimes these books can be kind of difficult because a lot of people see this and they're just like, I don't even wanna touch that. It's just too much going on. Um, but you know, I've, I kinda learned how to look at a page and figure out the best way for me to tackle it. Some pages I like to start off with the background because it's just, you know, helps you to see, um, you know, what else is going on, what's going on after you've colored in the background, but that doesn't work for everyone. So, you know, to each his home and, but this is the way I do it. I'm going to also assume here, um, yeah, so you just gotta take it step by step, a little bit at a time with these books. And I've always been nervous to color in a Thomas Love Tomic book <laughs> because the pictures are so beautiful and this is an this is actually my first Thomas Love Tomic picture, you guys. So, we're going to see how it turns out. I'm really nervous. I I mean, I think I color okay and but I've I've like seen some gorgeous pictures and I'm like oh my gosh those are beautiful I I don't think I want to color in my book <laughs> um, because I don't want to mess it up because I always feel like I'm gonna mess it up but I'm taking the I'm I'm taking the chance right now we're gonna go for it so and thanks to Lavelia um, and I believe oh, I can't I always forget the other um, lady's name who's hosting that um, color your hoard. So I'm doing this for a hashtag color your hoard and just also, you know, to say I've colored in this book finally, because <laughs> it doesn't make sense to have these books if you're, if you know, if I'm not going to at least attempt to color in them. So we're going for it. All right. So again, I'm using the May green 4,800 and this is from the Derwin artist set. These pencils are a hard pencil to me. Um, I like using hard pencils because, um, you know, I like to add the light layers. If you're going to layer, you know, these are perfect for that. So I'm just doing the light layers right now. Um, the light layer across this page. So I hope you guys can see. I'm going to make sure I'm in the frame. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me. What I'm gonna do now is I have, um, again, I did my first face-to-face -face video. Everybody was so kind, thank you so much for your kind words and compliments, encouragement, um, and also your questions. So I have, let's see, I have seven individuals who ask me questions, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and, while I'm coloring these um, leaves here, I'm gonna go ahead and answer those questions. All right, so the first question I received was from um, PJ Mush. Um, and PJ Mush wanted to know um, if I live in the United States. And the answer is yes, PJ Mush. I live in the United States of America. I um, live in North Carolina, but I'm originally from California. And I've been on the East Coast for probably, probably about half my lifetime now. I lived, um, you know, I was born and raised in, in California, and I came out this way to go to school. I uh, went back home, then decided to go back, and I've kind of been here ever since, except for a short stay with me and my husband. Moved to California for a couple of years and decided to come back to the East Coast. So, yes, I am here in the United States of America. All right, so thank you so much, PJ, for your question. Um, I guess we can't always assume we know where, where someone's from just because they speak English. <laughs> um, doesn't mean you're from the United States, so that's a good question. Thank you so much. All right, so the next question I had was from Lavelia, from Lavelia's Coloring. And her question was, um, what is your favorite thing to color? Like, is it architecture, landscapes, portraits, etc.? And what kind of coloring books do you avoid getting or coloring in? Okay, so I really enjoy coloring. Mainly, I like flowers and pictures like this. But I have a really, really um, strong... Um, I guess a, a love for anything that's art history or architecture because of education. My education that I had um, getting my art, going for my art degree. So um, I really love anything like that. Okay. So that was a great question. And the second part of her question was, what kind of coloring books do you avoid getting or coloring? Um, I I really don't like pattern, pattern coloring books. Um, I can color mandalas, but you know, like um, where it's just a page full of repetitive patterns, kind of reminds you of wallpaper. I, I really don't like those kind of... <laughs> Coloring books, and I and if I do color something like that, I have to really be in the mood, and in most cases, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> most cases, I'm not in the mood. Um, and if you do see me color something like that, it is because it's in one of the coloring books I need to finish complete because I've made a a challenge to myself to complete a coloring book, and it just so happens to be in the book. So of course, I have to do it. So kind of forced to so but yeah I do not like coloring patterns wallpapers and so I would not buy any books that that's you know what that's the whole book is you know those types of pictures um, I will leave that on the shelf or in the cart or on the um, on Amazon's website <laughs> I will not buy it. Okay, and so thank you, Lavelia, for the questions. Those were good questions as well. Um, 
And then I had the hobbyist said, um, ask a question. Um, the question the hobbyist had was, you can only have one coloring book and one set of coloring, coloring pencils um, for the rest of your life. What do you choose to have? When I read that question, I was like, oh my gosh, that's a tough question. That is so tough because I love, I love all the pencils that I have. Um, if I go, if I were to select a pencil brand, it would be based on the ones I use the most. So the pencils that I actually use the most are, um, Faber Castell and Prismacolor. So it would have to be one of those two. And for me, I would probably choose um, Faber Castell. And I would choose those because they have light fastness, they're oil based, they're hard, and I like hard pencils, um, which will give me more um, layering. Um, abilities or opportunities for layering with those types of pencils with an oil-based pencil or a hard lead pencil so I would choose I would say I would choose Faber Castell now I I do have I don't have full sets of like luminance um but I do have Pablo's but I haven't used them enough to to say that you know I would choose that pencil um but yeah I would go with Faber Castell um, and as far as the coloring book, whew, man, um, that's, that's a really hard question too. Um, I think that I would say I would choose, um, Nick Filbert because the, the images are, I mean, uh, extraordinary to me. I, and, you know, there's some of everything in his books. I mean, you get, you know, some leaves and flowers and you get people. Um, and so the actual book, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what book I would choose. I'd probably have to go with like... Um, That's so hard. I don't know if I would go with Serene or um, what was the other the other one that? Jeez, oh, I'm forgetting the name of the book. Probably Serene or the one before Serene. Um, because it's just those books are just gorgeous. Uh, so yeah, that's those are the books, and I would use my favorite Castells for sure. All right. So thank you from the hobbyist. Thank you for those questions. Those that was that was a really tough question. Um, and I actually thought about that when you first asked it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I better have an answer <laughs> when I decide to answer these because, uh, you know, it's hard to to say because there's so many awesome color um, illustrators out there that we get to color their art. You know, so it's kind of hard to, to choose, really. Um, but thank you for pushing me to to choose because, uh, you know, that's that's a great question. And I think a lot of colorists should sit and think about that, too, because, <clears throat> you know, if, if all you had was one one thing to choose, you know, one set of pencils and one coloring book, you out of the hundreds that many of us have, that would be very hard and you'd have to really choose wisely because that's all you have <laughs> for the rest of your life. So, but yeah, thank you so much um, for the question, okay? So the next question I have is from September Girl 70 And she wanted to know, her question was, um, what made you decide to move from California to North Carolina? <laughs> oh, well, that's a that's a long story. Um, I will say mainly um, the living um, 
living expenses and stuff like that. And also, too, my husband is from the East Coast. Uh, and so when we, the first time I moved from, <laughs> from California to North, to the East Coast was for school, for college, because I went to school in Virginia. Um, and the second time, um, that I moved from California, well, third, well, yeah, second time was coming back to, to go to school. So I took a little break and I came back and went to school. And the last time I, I moved back, um, my husband was there with me with my son. And we moved um, we moved back here. And it was because, um, you know, it was just so expensive to, to live there. And we kind of felt like we were going to, you know, weren't going to make it. So we decided to get back to the East Coast where... Things, you know, the cost of living is just a little bit less expensive. So, so we came on back here and, um, instead of going back to Virginia, we went to North Carolina. We came here to North Carolina and my husband has family here in North Carolina. And so when we were living, um, on the East coast, we would come down here to visit and I would say how, how beautiful it was down here and, and how, you know, oh man, it's so nice. If we ever had to choose somewhere to, to move back to the East Coast, we could consider it this beautiful state. So, yeah, that's why we are here. Because we didn't want to go back to Virginia. And so we chose North Carolina. And I think that we made a great choice. Even though I love, I love California. It's my home. Um, I, I miss it all the time, especially when we have weather related issues <laughs> or weather like, you know, storms and stuff like that. Um, that's when I really want to go home. <laughs> um, so I do miss home and I kind of miss it a lot more now that, you know, my parents are getting older. Um, you know, I want to be close to them, but it's just not, it's not doable right now. So, plus we just bought a house, so I don't want to sell yet <laughs> to move out there. So we're, we're here in North Carolina until God chooses to send us somewhere else. So we're here in North Carolina. All right, so the next, um, thank you so much, September Girl 70, for that question. That was a good question. Um, and then we have Tammy George. She wants to know how do you pronounce your YouTube page name? <laughs> um, and I guess I assume people could pronounce it, but I don't, I'm going to go ahead and tell you how. Um, my YouTube page name is Cali Girl in NC. So basically, I'm California girl in North Carolina. So Cali girl in NC. That's how you say it. There's no, you know, there's no special way to say it. It's just Cali girl in NC. So um, again, I, I assume people knew that. But, you know, I, again, we cannot assume anything. So I'm glad you asked me. And for anyone else who was like, well, how do you say it? Just call, just say Cali girl. Um, it is Cali Girl and NC. So thank you so much for that question, uh, Tammy George. That's a good question. Okay. So the next uh, question that I had was from Pam CC. Who is your all-time favorite color book artist? Okay. All-time favorite color book artist. So far, I'm going to have to say... It's uh, Nick Filbert um, because of the of the just because of the art style. Um, if I had to choose a second place, I would go with um, Kirby Rosanna's just because I like anything that's unique and anything that's kind of crazy. <laughs> I like that, so I'm I'm you know I tend to lean more towards like doodle books, doodle books, and. Um, 
things that are just very unique and, and very beautiful. Sorry, I had to take a sip there. So thank you for that question, Pam CC. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the next question I had was from Lori Ann, and she had several questions. So um, her question, one of her questions was, um, when did you start coloring and why? I've been actually coloring for a very long time. I've always been into coloring, even in the kids' coloring books. Um, you know, when my son was, was small and, and you know, even when my sister-in-law was like, you know, was younger, I would get on the floor with them and color with their crayons in those kids' coloring books. And I've always loved doing that. It's something that I've always done. And I even, you know, have um, a set of color pencils, Crayola color pencils that I had when my son was like probably two because we I do art with him and and stuff like that. So I've always been coloring, but as far as adult coloring, um, I want to say it's been probably maybe when, when it first became a craze is when I, you know, started coloring, um, in those books, my, and it's my mother-in-law's fault really. Cause she, um, she was like, have you seen this? And I was like, what, what is it? And she's, she showed me this. She had just come back from Atlanta and she's like, they have these adult coloring books. And I think it was a, um, the ones that were at Walmart. They're like color, I think color mania, or I forget what, what the name of the book was, but, um, so she showed me this book and I was like, oh man, no, adult coloring books. And I was like, I was so intrigued right then and there. I was like, you got that from Walmart? She goes, yeah. I was like, I wonder if they have those at, um, at Barnes and Noble. So of course I <laughs> called up Barnes and Noble and like said, Hey, do you guys have adult coloring books? What time do you close? They're like, yeah, we have, we close in an hour. So her, myself and my, my oldest son, we, <laughs> we went right before they closed and bought coloring books. And that is what started the whole thing with me and adult coloring. Even though I've always colored in coloring books, it's just the adult coloring books kind of took off because of my mother-in-law. <laughs> um, so thanks, Gail, Mom, <laughs> for starting me off on these beautiful books. I'm really happy that you led me to them because it's so relaxing for me and it's a fun thing for me to do. Um, and I really appreciate her showing these to me because... Um, I'm now I think I'm I'm just like so into this that I think I will never ever stop. I don't care if the craze ends, I'm never stopping. <laughs> and I say that all the time. I will never stop coloring because I've colored for so many years with crayons and colored pencils with the kids that even if people stopped, I'd still find a way to do it. So that was a great question. Thank you so much for that question, Lorianne. Um, and then she had another question. You guys see it right here. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, but I'm just gonna make it good. Just gonna make it work. Um, sorry, y'all. Had to take a little pause for a moment. The little one came out of bed. He's not supposed to be out of bed, so I had to put him back. <laughs> Excuse me again. Okay. So, um, the next question that Lorianne had was, what pencils are your favorite and why? And I think that I, um, answered that as, as, as well as what one coloring book could you not live without? And again, it would have to be the Nicholas Filbert books, um, and my favorite Castell pencils. Okay. So thank you for that question. And the last question that I had received was also from Lori Ann. And she wanted to know if I had children. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I have children. I have two kids. Um, 
both boys and um, they're 13 years apart. So I have a, I have a, a child in um, elementary <laughs> and I have a child or a young adult in college. So yes, I have two and they're boys. So thank you guys for those questions. They were great questions. Um, anyone else have any other questions after hearing these questions I had received? Feel free to ask those. I'm more than happy to answer questions. You know, as long as they're not too personable and um, I mean, pers too personal. Um, and you know, it's a question that I don't mind a uh, answering. All right. So as you can see, I went ahead and used this May green um, just randomly around this page. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to start with another color. And I think I'm going to go with the... Uh, we're going to start with this mineral green, which is mineral, mineral green 4500. And I'm just going to go through here and, you know, pick some. Um, pick some areas to color. And again, I'm just doing the first light layer. I'm going to be working pretty fast. This is faster than I would normally normally like to work. But whenever you're doing like color alongs, you try, you know, at least for me, I don't want the videos to be too long and I, I want to make some progress um, when I'm doing the videos. Um, sometimes it seems like when you're chatting, you, you may not color as uh, quickly as you would, you know, if you weren't. So... Because you're focusing on what you're saying um, and trying to do, you know, multitask basically. For some people, um, that can be difficult. So there will be, you know, this video I probably will not do any speed throughs. Um, but future ones I probably will because there's a lot to color in this book, in this page. So. So today's video, I do not want it to go over 45 minutes, so I will be checking that. Um, I know people don't really have that kind of time. You have other videos to watch. <laughs> and, um, you know, I just want to keep them at a nice uh, length and not too long. But yeah, so hope everyone has been doing well. Hope no one's been sick and everyone's taking care of themselves. And, you know, enjoying life. That you're happy. Whatever it is that you're doing. <clears throat> So again, this one right here is Mineral Green 4500. I'm just adding this first layer randomly through this page. Um, it's kind of hard to see where these are going, so I'm you know, just trying to figure that out as I go. If I make a mistake, it's probably not going to be seen because there's so many of these <laughs> um, swamp wreaths or leaves flying all over this page. So you probably won't be trying to see, oh, she messed up. That one goes, you know, that one's connected to that one. Um, so I'm trying to do it, um, you know, as accurate as I can. 
but I didn't draw this, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm just coloring what I see. Hope everyone's having a good summer so far. We've had, <laughs> we have rain today. And this is, today is one of those days I wish that I was in California. It rained from, I don't want to say almost 12, 12 noon. Actually, it rained when I left this morning. It looked like it was going to open up like at about 7, about 7 o'clock this morning when I left for work. And I was like, oh man, we're going to, this summer's like been a rainy summer. It's not fun at all. So, you know, I'm in the car or you're driving to work and I'm like, man, I mean, can we, can we get a break here? <laughs> can we get a break, please? But, um, you know, just live in a place that has storms and stuff. And so at about 12 noon today, you know, it's just like, I'm sitting in my office and I'm like, my goodness, look at that. And you could just see, I mean, the clouds just moving so fast. We had storms that were moving at like 40 miles per hour through our city. Um, we had like flash flood warnings, severe, uh, severe storm warnings. Luckily we didn't have any tornadoes. Um, but we did have uh, lightning, so that's always scary. But at about maybe 1.30ish, close to 2, maybe 2, um, our power goes out. Our power went out. And I'm like, okay, well, there's that. Um, so the building was dark. Computers are off. The phones are down. And we're sitting there, like, trying to figure out, okay, well... What are we going to do? So we ended up, everyone ended up leaving early from work because we really couldn't do anything. Uh, whenever the power goes down, it messes with the servers and they have to, you know, bring those servers back up. And that's a lot of work. So basically, there's really nothing we can do until the servers are up. And that can take a couple hours. And it's close to the end of the day. So they're like, okay, well, I guess we're going home. Um, but yeah, so... Um, we're, we had no power <laughs> for the last maybe three hours of the day of the work day. So that was not fun. Um, I mean, I don't know where many of you live, but if you live in a place that has these severe storms, they're pretty scary. Um, you know, I'm not, I've lived on the East Coast for, like I said, almost half my life, but I don't think I'll ever get used to that. And I, I don't think I'll ever um, like the sound of it. It's, it's, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> makes me want to go home. Um, but luckily we didn't have any tornadoes. And that's, you know, that's the most important thing because I've never been in one and I don't want to be in one. Uh, but we got, you know, we got hurricane season coming. We're, we're in hurricane season, rather. And so, you know, we're if we have any, you know, hurricanes coming towards this area, we'll have to possibly sit through a lot of those kind of warnings for tornadoes and fl flash flooding, stuff like that. So... My dad, my dad would always joke and say, "You should, pack, you should sell your house and move back, so you guys don't have to deal with that kind of weather. <laughs> you need to come home." <laughs> like I'd love to come back home to California, but I don't, I don't make the kind of money that will probably let me allow me to at this point. Um, houses there, I mean, to buy a house, my gosh, so expensive there. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, people are doing it, but I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm pretty content with, uh, you know, 
the house that we bought and I don't see our I don't see us moving anytime soon unless like I said unless God sends us somewhere else then we'll go but for the most part we are here we're here for the long haul I just have to get used to the weather um, one thing I do like about living in North Carolina though is that I get to experience all the seasons in um, in California where I live in Southern California I mean we I mean they have we had seasons but I mean you couldn't it's not like fall like you know where you get to see all the fall fo foliage change to the reds the yellows the pretty oranges and the green um, browns oh my gosh it's gorgeous so you know I I love fall and I didn't actually fall in love with fall <laughs> Until I moved to the East Coast and saw the seasons change. And I love that. It's my favorite season um, as far as nature is concerned. Because it's just gorgeous. And the air is crisp. And um, it's cool. You can wear sweaters and white jackets and stuff. I love that. Um, where I grew up, you know... Winter feels like May here. <laughs> so, you know, so that's just a, it's just a totally different uh, lifestyle uh, when you're moved from like, um, you know, Southern California to um, uh, another city or state that actually has, you know, that has all four seasons. Well, every, I think every state, every city has all four seasons, but like to see the change of the seasons you know, experience the difference between them all. So, I really enjoy that about here. Um, winter is nice too, because it's cold and you might get snow. Um, I don't drive in snow, don't know how to, don't want to learn. <laughs> so, thank God that, you know, I work for a company where if there is snow, um, we don't have to be at work. If they close it, the building, the office, then nobody has to be at work just for safety precautions. So I'm happy about that. But I do know some people don't have that, that choice. Like my husband, sometimes he still has to go in. But, you know, he's from the East Coast and he's from um, Virginia and they get snow. So he knows how to drive in it. And so he's comfortable driving. Um, and the snow here is not like, you know, two feet of snow or three feet of snow I'm talking like inches <laughs> but because this is not a place that gets it um you know people don't don't really know how to drive in it so you see a lot of accidents um people are sliding all over the place because of the ice because we do get ice here in the Piedmont so yeah. All right. So we're just getting some different greens in here. So again, I'm using Mineral Green 4500. And putting quite a bit of this because it's like my it's like my uh, mid green. The other two are kind of dark, so I kind of want to use those for shading. Um, but I'm just going to scatter all these different colors in here as much as I can. Oops, sorry about that. We'll do this one down here. Yeah, so, yeah, it's just been raining for the most part. And we got a, we have a swimming pool put up in our backyard for Christian. It's an above ground pool and 
and he's not really been able to swim in it that much because of, of the rain and and then the traveling so hopefully you know before it gets too cold for swimming he'll get some swim time in there um you know before it's no more swimming so and that was that was another thing we had to do that was some tough work man Whew. putting a pool up <laughs> is tough work we did it all ourselves we had to um level the ground we had to take off the 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 uh, grass we did level the ground oh that was tough and it was so hot when we did that and um i got i think i got um what do you call that where you're it's just too hot you're almost passing out i almost got heat exhaustion I had to go sit down my son was like mom i'll do it go sit down <laughs> And I was so worried about him. He had blisters in his hands. I was like, he is such a trooper. I was like, my boy. But yeah, he was like, mom, go sit down. I'll do this part. I'm like, you've been out here just as long as I have. My husband had to go to work, so he really couldn't help us um, do much of it until the next day. And the next the next day, he was out there. And I was like, me and Kai are done. We've done a lot. And so it wasn't that much left to do, but for him to make sure it was actually level. And he was out there for, it seemed like hours. And I was like, oh, he's going to need help. I was like, oh God. <laughs> so <laughs> of course the wife had to go out there and help. Cause my son was like, uh, uh I'm not doing it more today. <laughs> I'm not doing it more of that. So, so of course I got out there and spent another probably, I don't know, I want to say like four hours out in the heat. I mean, we had, it was like in the hundreds. It was so hot. Um, my, I, I was just so uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Skin hurt. Uh, oh. Just happy it's done now. Now we can just enjoy the pool. <laughs> We can just enjoy it now, but it was some hard work. I don't wish that on anyone. And if I ever had to take that down and have it done again, I will be getting it professionally done. I'm not doing that ever again. <laughs> oh. All right, you guys couldn't even see what I was doing up there. See, that's why I need to check on if I'm in frame. I'm so sorry. Okay, so. All right, now I'm going to go with um, probably, I'm going to go with the um, bottle green, which is 4,300 bottle green. And I'm going to add, I'll probably just do the rest of these that are showing here in this color. Okay. Um, again, this color may look similar to the other <clears throat> excuse me color right next to this one next to the um what color was that the mineral green but it, it it's not it's they're close in color but they're not the same color so who else has an above ground pool that they've installed in their backyard. Oh, broke a tip. Yeah, um, what was your experience <laughs> installing it? Ours was not so great as you have already heard. And do you guys take it down every year or do you leave it up? Because I'm not sure what we're going to do. We're trying to figure out if we're going to take it down. Um, or if we're just going to cover, you know, cover it. Wet, you know, um, winterize it and then cover it. <clears throat> or 
get it ready for winter. So again, I'm using Bottle Green 4300, and I'm just going to um, add this first layer to all of these that are remaining because I have the darkest green um, I'm going to be using for shading as well as the um, other two greens I have on, you know, going to be used for shading as well. So I just wanted to use uh, four different color greens to just give this a little bit of variety. I didn't want to use the same, you know, light green, um, you know, and a, a shading color for all of them. You know, try to like change it up a little bit. Um, give it a little bit more dimension and stuff like that by using different colors. Try to make it look a little bit more realistic um, than it would if I just used all one color. I don't know if I'm making sense, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Oh, my goodness. Has anyone... Having, is anyone out there having any issues like with um, mosquitoes and flies and stuff like that? So we were in Virginia and the flies were, whew, they were horrible up there. I'm like, I'm glad we're not having the fly issue down here right now because I can't stand those nasty things. Oh, but yeah, we were having, we were up there and they were like flies everywhere. I was like, oh, I don't know what that was about. Now I know that we get, um, you know, we're, we have mosquitoes. I've been getting bit up by mosquitoes too a lot lately. And um, they were talking about, you know, the mosquitoes carrying the, the flesh eating virus. I was like, why are they scaring people? <laughs> you know, so I'm like, oh gosh, why are they scaring us? But you know, I I don't I I think they, they pretty much eat me up because I use like, you know, sweet oil body sprays and stuff like that. Um so I think I'm just attracting them by using that stuff. But I'm a lady and I like to smell sweet, so <laughs> Um, I'm not going to stop using it. So, you know, I just use, um, the off spray whenever I go out and hope that they don't attack me. Um, but that's never a guarantee because you're always going to miss a spot they find. So it's kind of like, um, wondering if anyone else is dealing with, you know, the flying insect is any flying insect issues because, uh, they're a nuisance in some areas I've discovered <laughs> a big nuisance so you guys I'm in this section here and, and it's taken me a while to figure out what's going on because um, you know I don't see any fronds or anything going that way like I see here here's one so I can assume this is for this one um, if anyone else has colored this page did you have an issue with this section as well so it's like, where, where are these going? Um, I'm doing my best here trying to figure it out. They're like overlapping each other. Weaving through each other, which I think is really cool. But if you didn't draw it, you don't really know for sure. You're just taking a stab at it. So I'll just keep stabbing at it, I guess. As you can see, 
My colors are not even, some are darker, some are lighter, but I'm kind of doing that on purpose. I don't want it all to just be the same pressure and all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of hard to tell you like when and how to do that. I just, you know, I just do it. Um, you know, and sometimes it's just random. Just randomly do it. I just noticed that there's a little, the crown has a little guy in there. A little gnome sitting up there. What I just noticed. <laughs> I'm so focused on these these leaves. I'm like, whoa, there's something sitting in that, sitting in that thing. Oh, let me finish this one. So far, as far as these pencils on this paper, so far I'm going to say I'm, I like it. Um, now, as we get to doing, you know, second layers, we'll see. Second and third layers. Because, um, you know, the first layer is going down really nice. I don't feel like I'm burnishing. It's taking the pigment really, really nicely. And... Um, it's vibrant and I like that. So we have one over here. Make this a little darker. Okay. Make this one here. Piece of one. So, yeah, guys, this is a really nice book. But it takes patience. I want to rush through this sec this part of it, but I can't. I'm seeing now I'm not going to be able to. So I'm just going to color until um, I get to my time that I don't want to go over with you guys. And again, I'm just adding color where I think it needs to go. I think I've gotten all these on this side of the head, except for these over here. I think I'm going to do something special with those. I won't mess with those just yet. So now I'm going to scoot up. Oh, we have one here. I'll scoot the page over. So this is coming this way. I'll set the page over so you guys can see what exactly I'm doing over here. Okay. So you guys gotta tell me, does anyone have these pencils? Um, and for anyone who voted for this pencil, did you vote because you wanted to see how these pencils um, uh, are work or how they, um, you know, work on this paper. Were you hoping, you know, to just get an idea about these pencils because you have them in your cart? Not sure if you're going to click buy. <laughs> um, for those who are interested in um, these pencils, I will have a link in the description. Um, to my Amazon affiliate link if you're interested in purchasing those. Um, I'll have that link down there for you. If you use that link, a small portion does go to support my channel. Um, which, you know, I just put back into the channel by, you know, getting books or <clears throat> um, other, you know, medium to use or to try in these coloring books. So.
Yeah, I think this is a castle behind here, so I'm not going to mess with that. All right, so... Yeah, so, so far these are pretty nice, I think, at least. So far, so good. We'll, we'll discuss it when I get to part two tomorrow. <laughs> we'll discuss it more because I'll be doing some layering. Try not to press too hard so we can get um, some nice layering on this. You know, everybody does, <clears throat> has a different style for coloring. And I think it's cool that there are so many different ways that people, you know, are coloring in their, in their books. I was going to use watercolor in this, but because it's my first Thomas Love Tomic page, I was like, you know what, I'm going to stick with the pencils and then I'll get fancy once I finish one. <laughs> Let me finish one first, then we'll, we'll get fancy with using watercolor or neocolor twos and stuff like that. Um, so for the most part, you're gonna find that I, I like to use pencils. I'm not, I'm not um, really good at using markers right now because it's not a, a medium that I'm really into. So I'll use them, but I will not use them um i probably will not use them on camera until i get better at them you know like blending and stuff i need to learn all of that so i won't i won't do that on on camera um uh, what i will use though are any like um anything that's water soluble i don't mind because I, I i feel like i have a I feel like I'm okay with those and I don't feel uncomfortable using them, uh, you know, on camera. So, still learning a lot. Uh, I think when you're doing art, you learn, you learn new things all the time, you know, all the time, especially if you're still kind of new at it. And everything, yeah. so tea is in the way. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Well, guys, here I decided to go ahead and speed through because I did not want to make this video more than the 75 minutes that it seemed to turn out to be. So I do apologize. I want to keep videos at 45 minutes or less. I did not realize that the video had stopped and restarted on its own with a new time. So that was like somewhere between halfway through. So I hope that you guys don't mind me speeding through this last portion. I really didn't say very much of anything that was important. <laughs> uh, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video from here to the end. Right, so we are done with the first layer on these um, leaves. I've left these open here because I think I'm going to do those um, differently. I'm not sure just yet. Um, these down here at the bottom because they kind of like frame the picture. So I just colored the center of each one. We'll leave these open for now. So um, when we come back for um, video number two, we'll be working on... Um, shading of those leaves okay so we have the first layer all done 
they're not even and that's on purpose um, so we're gonna go in and do some shading and pretty this up a little bit and then um, hopefully we'll get that done in the next video all right y'all until next time take care